Hi, and welcome to our tech center here at Shunk USA. My name is Charlie Horvath, and I work with the Stationary Work Holding Group. And today, we're going to show you just how easy it can be to automate a machine tool. So uh, here at Shunk, we're known for our end-of-arm tooling and also our work holding and other clamps. And what I'm really excited to show you today is kind of the fusion of those two worlds uh, and how they can work together to make automating a machine tool uh, really easy. So with that, let's get right into it. Uh, what we're simulating here is a, a mill where you'd be looking to uh, go from a manual setup to more of an automated setup. And so with that, you've got your mill and um, your work holding in here. And you've probably rolled a robot up to your machine, selected all your tooling, um, and you're ready to go. So let's pull this manual vise out of the machine here. Um, and you'll notice I was able to do that because we've got a quick change solution uh, on this table which uh, when we apply air to it, it, it opens up and lets us uh, change jobs over very quickly and very repeatably. So instead of that manual vise, I'm going to put a pneumatic vise into the machine um, and just lay it on in there. And I'm going to remove the air to uh, lock it down. Uh, so this can be a little loud. You might watch your ears. And with that, we're locked and located into the VeroS Quick Change system. And that system repeats down to five microns, so you can reliably go back and forth between these jobs, no problems. So now all that's left to do is bring pneumatics to this pneumatic vise, because uh, for automation, you need a powered vise. Uh, and that is what we have here in the front and what we're calling Tandem Unleashed. I'm just going to plug these hoses into it. and. Uh, we're going to see it in action first, and then we'll go to exactly how this works so uh, that nothing's missed. But let's get this robot going, because we're ready to go. So first, the uh, UR is going to give you a quick wave. And per normal, uh, in automation, he's going to go to grab the part and load it into the vise. Now, what's a little special here today is what he's going to do now, which is that robot's actually going to move to actuate that vise. Um, and it does that by clamping on that media block out front. So now that part is clamped, the robot can leave, the door can close, and that machine can run with no human uh, required. And so the robot's going to go back in to unclamp that vise and um, and unload that part. So that's what's novel here today is, is uh, the fact that that robot is actually controlling the work holding. And we're going to build that setup and show you uh, the ins and outs of it to show you how easy it can be. With that, uh, if you'll follow me over to this other table, we'll be able to uh, put that together. So I'm going to show you exactly how we put that cell together. Um, but before we do so, I'd like to take a step back and kind of talk about why we're doing what we're doing. So here at Chunk, we're noticing a few trends in the industry, um, and specifically uh, a trend towards cobots and collaborative robots. Uh, and we're noticing that trend, of course, for the reasons of human safety and human collaboration. But there's a third uh, reason to use a cobot, and that's really from an ease of use and implementation uh, standpoint. And so in the same vein, uh, Shunk is looking at solutions that can be equally easy to implement as well as safe for human collaboration. Uh, so on the gripper side, you'll notice uh, we've had talks about uh, collaborative grippers and, and, um, and how easy those can be to implement on your robot arm. And on my side, from a work holding standpoint, we've been headed in the same direction. And with that, I, uh, I want to show you this PGS3 vise that we've just come out with. For instance, with this new PGS3 vise that you just saw in action, ease of implementation and uh, compatibility are at the forefront of this thing's design. And um, there's a few ways we achieve that. Uh, one is you'll notice the vise has an integrated base plate. Uh, and that makes it easy to go on our VeroS system, our quick change system you just saw, and also onto common interfaces such as like a T-slided table or some of the common rotary 
uh, interfaces we see around the industry. So a few features here that enable that. Uh, we're able to put our, our clamping pin in here to do that Vero S quick change. Um, but there's also alignment elements down here for other size tables, uh, such as common rotary tables. And then uh, these slots on the end allow you to put it onto a T slot, uh, which, which is what we're about to do. And the other way, uh, the other th main feature of this vice is it's actually intended really for uh, to come in at a more of an economical price point. Uh, and one way we achieve that is by making it out of an aerospace grade aluminum, where some of our uh, vices historically have been made out of a hardened steel. Uh, we're able to get our manufacturing costs down uh, by making this out of a, a nicer aluminum. And, um, and you'll notice I'm able to handle it easier for that same reason. So let's put it on the table. And if you were go just going to put it straight onto a T-slotted table like this, uh, you'd probably just go for T-nuts here. Uh, and we can help make sure you get the right size T-nuts. And so this would be an even easier setup than the one we just saw in action where we were using quick change. You could just go straight on here, dial it into your machine with an indicator, and then I'm always going to recommend you, uh, you torque it down to the rated value uh, from the operating manual. So we'll just get that done. Okay. So the vise is locked down. And we're going to uh, probably look at a pair of jaws next. Uh, generally, we sell these with soft jaws. Uh, you'll see these uh, have been machined for a round, but we sell these blank so that you can machine the interface uh, to suit your needs. Um, so a round part would fit pretty nicely in here. And what's left? Well, like we said earlier, this is a pneumatic vise, so you, see, you need some sort of powered medium at the table for automation, in this case pneumatics. Now you have a few options there. Um, for some of the common rotary tables we were talking about earlier, we've actually got solutions uh, that allow you to bring air uh, up through the table. So if your table has air ports coming through the, uh, the interface, or say like a rotary union, we've got some common interfaces that'll adapt it and bring that air through the bottom of the vise. But for the majority of applications, uh, you're probably just going to want to run hoses from these side ports here. And uh, if possible, just run those hoses off of the, off the end of the table, and you're good to go. Now, uh, what we are showing today is Tandem Unleashed, and this is the solution uh, let's say you don't have air at your table, and that table might move uh, or have extra axes of rotation, such as a fourth or a fifth axis machine, but you still want to automate. That's where Tandem Unleash comes in handy. Uh, because now, because the robot arm can bring air to these media couplings here uh, and actually actuate the vise and bring air to the table and then leave the cell, uh, that allows us to basically automate any machine table, regardless of whether there's air at the table. So I'm going to slap this on the end of the table as well, using a T-nut. and probably torque it down to the rate of value again. All right, and I'll just plug in my air hoses. And that's it. That's all you need on your machine table to have an automated setup with Tandem Unleashed. So let's go take a look one more time at that uh, live demo with the UR robot and see if we can spot any more nuance here. So you recognize the whole setup here. And again, the only difference here is we've added in a quick change system, which can make switching jobs that much easier. Uh, for instance, 
one thing we've been seeing a lot, and uh, you may have caught in Michael's talk, was uh, we've got customers who might want to use a manual vise during the day and uh, automate at night. So a quick change system can really help you do that. But for now, let's focus on what's on top of it. Again, the PGS vise connected to the unleash coupling. And let's take a look at the other half of the equation here. Uh, and that's what's on the end of the robot arm. So you've got your uh, shunk PG and gripper on the end there with a pretty standard set of fingers. But what's special here is actually the intermediate fingers. So those go between the, the gripper and the fingers. And uh, they're actually what does the clamping on our media coupling here and passes that air into the vise. And that's all enabled by that, uh, that valve block you see between the gripper and the robot arm. Uh, because that's able to take one air line in and one line of electrical signal and turn it into four pneumatic lines out, two for the gripper, two for the vise. And that piece is actually a uh, standard product, and we've got it built for a few different common robot interfaces to make all of this seamlessly work together and easy. And it's a good point about basically everything you're seeing here. It's all available and ready to go. Uh, and uh, if you work together with our applications engineers, we can uh, make sure it'll be compatible with the hardware you want to use and get you off and running with a cell like this. So let's take a look at it in action one more time. You are just going to give you another wave. You'll get the slow wave this time. because I want to slow this down and really look at the ins and outs. So this time we've, we've actually got our, our soft draws machined for a rectangular part so that the robot can load it. And again, the robot's going to come down and clamp on that media block and pass air through to clamp that vise. So now we're clamped. That part's not going anywhere. That door can close. You can machine. And all of that's achieved without any air at the table. Uh, so this actually, uh, it might seem like a small thing, but uh, in our world, this actually solves a big problem, which is uh, there are a untold number of applications out there where people would like to automate, but maybe when they were buying that machine, uh, they didn't think about needing air at the table or needing a rotary union. Um, so this uh, lets us automate those solutions and bring air to that table, regardless of uh, which, which machine tool they chose or which options they chose. And uh, the bottom line is that basically with any size robot and any machine tool, uh, we can automate it. And that's why we're so excited about Tandem Unleashed here. So I really encourage you to please reach out and, uh, and let us know what you're trying to do, what you're trying to achieve. And I guarantee you we can help you automate that machine tool one way or another. So uh, thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed the show.